So basically, it's like an electronic device that helps you diagnose some malfunctions with your car as far as like mechanic stuff. Um, this is my first video review, bear with me. I'm going to be testing this out on my car, which is a 2013 uh, Mazda 3 regular model. Uh, I bought it certified pre-owned um, from a lot about a few months ago. So it shouldn't be that much long with it. So as you can see, they show you a picture of where um, the DT, the, the data link connector, is commonly located in most people's cars. So you see the left corner dash, the near center dash, behind the ashtray. I just simply typed in the make model and year of my car on Google and put in data link connector. Um, and it pulled up a YouTube video that showed me exactly where it was. So I didn't really have to search for mine. So if you do that, that'll save you a lot of time. Um, this is an honest review. I was not offered any compensation or anything of this uh, sort. It comes with um, a USB cord, uh, I guess, so you could plug it to your computer and update the software if need be. It comes with this quick start guide and the package. I left all of that upstairs, but it's pretty easy to open. Like, you don't have to cut or rip anything. Like, you just snap it open and it got here very, very quickly. So, this is what it looks like it's a uh, top down Audi Link 201 data link connector, DLC. Excuse my dirty car and my dirty nails, I'm sorry. So basically, when I looked mine up, it said that my DLC connector was located the left corner of the dash. So right above, I don't know what this is, the emergency brick, I don't know. But it's over on the left. So I'm gonna plug it in. They say, um, instructions on the back. Turn the ignition off, so my ignition is off. Locate the DLC socket, which I already did. Plug it in, I did. Then we're gonna cut the ignition on. So that's what I'm gonna do. Bear with me. Let me scoot up, you guys. I'm short. <laughs> I'm like 5'3". Okay, so I'm gonna cut my ignition on. After finishing the system, we'll start initializing. So the first thing I'm gonna go to, cause I noticed it cut immediately on, I'm gonna go to set up. Oh, you use this to navigate. So I'm gonna go to set up, press okay. Um, language, it's in English. So let's just keep it in English, but just for the sake of revealing. So they've got French, Chinese, Japanese, Spanish, German, Italian and something else, I'm not sure. No offense to anyone. Um, unit of measure. I'm gonna keep it as that. I don't wanna mess something up, so I'm gonna keep it with what it's on. Temperature Celsius. Um, now I probably will change that. I'm gonna change that to Fahrenheit. So now I'm gonna, you, you go to, you leave out of the menu by pressing the little back button. And you navigate using these up and down buttons. So I'm gonna go all the way back to the main menu now that we've done set up. Um, I'll go to about. I guess this just shows the device info. You know, so I'm gonna press back. I'm gonna navigate. First, I'm gonna go to ready test. So I guess that's kind of symbolic. Like when you go to the mechanic. Um, and they plug it in, like a lot of shops charge people to do this, but from the car and the little uh, stuff that's emitting from the back, I guess it's symbolic of maybe like a little mini emissions test. So I'm gonna click OK. Entering system, so I guess it's initializing. So all the ones I guess with the check mark are good. My DTC, MIS, field, CCM, CAT. The ones that are in gray, I'm guessing that means it's not supported. And um, whatever, on oh, my ignition, my IGN, it says it has a spark. So I'm gonna look up all these codes later. And for my MIL, it shows some weird thing. So basically I might have two issues, possibly. So now I'm gonna navigate and we're gonna go um, to the OBD 
to slash ELBD check, whatever that means. I'm not mechanically inclined, so forgive me. So it's initializing. Readiness completed, readiness not completed, readiness not supported. So do not support it. Data stream supported, 43, ignition, there's a spark. I don't know what that means. When I drive, it's pretty smooth. So I, maybe I'll Google all this. Protocol type CAN. Read codes. So yeah, what is it? Let's go to read codes. Current DTCs. The vehicle has no fault codes. Let's go to pending DTCs. Press OK. The vehicle has no fault codes. Permanent DTCs. <laughs> Um, let's click OK. The vehicle has no fault code, so I'm guessing this is a good sign. I am readiness. Let's see. Since DTCs were cleared. Misfire monitor, OK. Fuel system monitor, OK. Comprehensive component, OK. Catalyst monitor, OK. Uh, so the ones that say NA, I guess they're not supported. Um, the head catalyst monitor, secondary air system monitor, um, evaporating system monitor is okay, oxygen sensor monitor is okay, um, EGR and or VVT system, okay. Awesome, this drive cycle. Catalyst monitor. INC. I don't know what that means. I'm not gonna fake it or pretend like I do. As I said, I'm not mechanically inclined. I'm just trying to show you all how this works. Data stream, I don't know what that means. You all, I don't know. I'm Calculate it one way. Engine coolant temperature, 183 degrees. I don't know if that's good. So it can show you your vehicle speed. It shows you a lot. Intake air temperature. I don't have my air on high because I'm just sitting in the car doing this review. Throttle position. It shows you a lot um, for this device to be so simple. I think this will really come in handy for like a mechanic, someone who flips cars. Like let's say you buy cars from the auction and you want to flip them. You could use this to find out exactly what's wrong, fix it, and then come back, see if the codes have cleared, and go from there. I think it also allows you to clear codes. It shows barometric pressure. Uh, it shows a lot of stuff. This is so awesome. Yeah, this is cool. Battle position. This is nice graphic items it shows a lot so for those of you who are more mechanically inclined maybe all this stuff that's popping up on here you know exactly what they mean because I don't all I know my my car pass emissions and safety inspection it rides pretty smooth it has great handling the hair the air blows cold the heat blows cold my um, gear shift doesn't stick um, my brake doesn't stick um, it doesn't smoke or make noise so I'm very happy so I guess that's it I like this device I think it would come in handy I hope you all liked my review. I'm sorry it's so long. And excuse my filthy car. Thanks. Have a great day.